Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL 300 exam preparation series where we are looking at the fourth learning path deploy and maintain assets. In this video, we are going to cover the topic publish, import or update assets in a workspace which is part of the section create and manage workspace and assets. So in the previous two videos, we have had a look at the workspace and the workspace roles and we have seen that there are different kinds of assets that you can create in a workspace. These include data sets, data flows, data marts, streaming data sets, paginated reports and a lot of other uh, entities. So these are all called assets in a workspace. So now we are going to have a look at how we can publish, import and update these assets in a workspace. So here I am in the Power BI desktop environment and we have almost seen uh, all the features related to data modeling and to report design and DAX inside the data inside the Power BI desktop environment. So I'm in the Power BI desktop environment and over the last all these videos over the last three learning paths we have seen some of the stuff that we can do inside the Power Query editor related to the extraction and transformation of data. Then we brought the data into the Power BI desktop environment and we saw what are the features available for data modeling then for DAX development and then for reporting and visualization. So once you have done everything inside of the Power BI environment, then you can actually go and publish your report to the Power BI service. And here if I come in the home tab here, you are going to find a button towards the very right which says publish. So the last thing that you do inside the Power BI desktop environment is to click here on the publish tab and publish your report to one of the workspaces that are there inside your Power BI service tenant. So I am going to do the exactly the same. So here I'm going to click on publish and I'm going to save the changes to my file. And you are going to see that it is going to give me options related to the workspaces on which I can publish my report. So I will have to actually go and select one of the workspaces. So here the window for that has opened. So here you can see that I have the my workspace option open and then all the workspaces which are available inside my Power BI tenant, these are available. So I created this workspace PL300 batch 3A. So I'm going to just select this and then the report is going to be published to the Power BI service. So after a few seconds or maybe a couple of minutes, you're going to get this message depending upon the size of your report that your report has been successfully published to the Power BI workspace. So I'm going to just click here on got it and then I'm going to go into my Power BI service workspace. So I am inside my Power BI service workspace PL300 batch 03A and here you see that there are two assets that are now visible and you can see that the first one is a report and the second one is a data set. So what actually happens is that once you publish a report from Power BI desktop to Power BI service, two artifacts or two assets are created. One is the report which has all the visualizations that are there on our report pages. And this one is effectively our data model. And in the Power BI service, this data model is also referred to as a data set. So the terminology which is used for this uh, data model part is called the data set. So we are going to explain, explore this data set in a few other videos. So this is what you get once you publish a Power BI desktop file to a Power BI service workspace. Next, if I go to this new tab here, we have already seen some of the stuff uh, in a, one of the previous videos. So here are some of the assets that can be created. So the exam, PL300 exam does not go into the details of this, but you should know what these, uh, all these assets are. So the first one is the report. So we have already created a, rep uh, published a report here, then pa paginated report. We have already talked about it that you work in the Power BI uh, report builder, and then you publish the report as a paginated report into the Power BI service. We are going to cover scorecard in another video and also dashboard in another video. But here you, you are going to find the data set. So here you can also create a data set. So if I just go and click on this data set, it comes up with a few options which, which act as the source of my data. So I can use Excel, CSV 
or I can actually paste or you know manually enter data. So if I just go and click on this Excel file here, so this is going to open up a new window and automatically this is going to connect to my SharePoint space. So here you are, you can see that all the Excel files which are there in my SharePoint workspace, these are available and also I can go and I can bring in any file from my desktop as well. So I'm not going to do that because the aim is not to actually go and build a data set, but here you can, uh, you have the option to actually directly import data from Excel as well as CSV. And you can also manually create a, um, manually create and enter data in a table inside this area. So this is something that you can do with a data set. Similarly, we have some other assets like the data flow, data mart, streaming data set and streaming data flow. But all of these are not covered in the PL300 syllabus. So you can just go and have a look at these uh, for your own learning, but these are not covered in the exam. Just keep in mind that data flow is an online version of Power Query. So everything that you can do inside the Power Query editor in desktop, you can do it inside a data flow and then that data flow can be connected to a Power BI report or a Power BI data set. So this is something that uh, that you just need to keep in mind. But here our focus is going to be a data set and we are going to explore this in more detail in some of the other videos as well. Just keep this thing in mind that if I just come here and hover on this area, then there are certain options which are related to the data set. And you can see that there are quite a few options which are related to data set, some of the settings, some of the permissions, and then some of the things which are related to security and also updating and refreshing the data set. So we are going to cover some of these details in some of the uh, other videos. The third part of this particular section is the updating. So updating any asset is, is like, uh, like I just said that maybe a data set is refreshed is an, is a, uh, is an example of updating. Similarly, once we, we are going to create an app uh, in one of, uh, one of the other videos, then we are also going to see that how we can update the app. But the point to remember here is that there are these assets which are there inside of your Power BI workspace. And the most important assets here are your, are your Power BI report and your Power BI data set. And we are going to uh, focus more on these, but it is good that you also explore some of the other options that how you can create these assets and then how data can be either imported or how these can be refreshed or updated. So that's all for this particular video and I will catch up with you in the next one.